so i can uh, go here just see here our uh, two uh, out file and sim file have generated so when it's done now i'll just go for summary statistic from summary statistic we'll get our final result so where what we'll do we'll select uh, from here we'll select model or observe as priority requirement so i'm using model uh, then select file then i'll select out naglo 2009-2019 and actually i'm working data with uh, 11 year data for temperature so i will take 11 year okay i'm just discussing about that later to so select output file here we will uh, get a text file so i'll just using wall and uh, bracket i'm just uh, giving a name what i record actually o b a c r v e d observed okay uh observe then i was on must select her text file so it's done okay for naglu uh 2019 to uh, 2009 to 2019 observe text file and here is the analysis period so uh, i am using analysis period from 2009 to 2019 so if you need you can change that actually but i am as this is the climatic change that means that we need more years to compare with another more year so that's why i'll just um, take whole 11 year for that analysis okay so 2009 to 2019 and how actually software will work so here every day's value will be sum and then it will be average okay it will be average so we'll get the average value okay we'll get the average value of that total analysis period right so when it's done everything is done now i'll simply click analyze and see here you will see here file text file so i'll just go back and from here actually you can see that the main this is the main value main minimum temperature the 2.636 4 point for january february here the value and this is for winter okay uh, atom here you you can see that and this is for actually this is uh, the monthly data till that and this is the maximum and this is the minimum and uh, this is the variance and this is the sum of that well okay, we will not use that sum because we use sum for our um, precipitation because uh, if we use sum in precipitation then we'll get good result but for main i mean for uh, uh actually for temperature we'll use that main option so i'll just go back so when it's done our first of um process have completed now we'll go again for uh, i mean now we'll go for our prediction we have found it our that observed data observed data means our uh, the station data model okay we have created a model by using our station data now we'll create our future prediction data predicted data okay so i will just uh, again go scenario generator and from here i'll change setting so now by using that part file uh, it will be uh, the gcm will be the gcm will be 365 that that's okay and by uh, using the, our part file we will create our we will create our uh, future data okay from 2020 to 21 so 20 uh, 2020 to um, 21 uh, and here 2020 that means we'll create almost for eight years data in future eight years data will generate i mean predicted data will generate by using this software so when it's done i'll just click save okay go back and from here i'll select that part file from here and we'll use that two sdsm data the first one is rcp 4.5 and for that we'll create an out file so from here i'll just give a name of that file naglu minimum temperature for out file for what or cp 4.5 rcp 4.5 then open and we can see them with respect to which predictor uh, predictor predict and i mean predict and predictor um data we are creating our odd file and with respect to which gcm directory okay so actually gcm is global climatic model data using that software so when it's done now i'll just uh, it's okay again i'll go gcm data folder and from here i'll create another file for 
and I'll just change the name of it simply here I'll first of all delete that sign and from 8.5 okay now glue minimum temperature RCP 8.5 so open soon is done now apply sorry and now uh, generate then yes we have provided our test system perfectly so wait for some time yeah it's a clear by like 9 uh, 9 MB one text file or out file like 9 MB so they have huge amount of I mean we have uh, they have 18 years data almost okay so when our that senior generator option have done now we'll simply go for summary statistic again and now we'll predict our data so our data will be in model then we'll select what file first of all for um, okay a naglu minimum temperature for RCP 4.5 for 4.5 will create our predicting data so from here here we'll get our text file I mean our result so what are the name of it I'll just take that name uh, now glue minimum temperature for 2040 right and for what I mean what GCM data RCP 4.5 and if you want to know about that RCP 4.5 or 8.5 or 2.4 you have to study in details uh, from the internet okay so uh, if I try to discuss about that topic it will be very lengthy so I'll just open okay when it's done now from here this is the analysis period and this is the most important thing how select actually that analysis period because uh, when we have created our model okay here the I mean model observed file then we have used 11 year data right we have used 11 year data and software have uh, found the average monthly data for that 11 years okay and again for 2000 uh, as I am using 2014 actually what is the uh, issue of 2014 actually actually I am only taking 2040 but here I will use 11 year data to predict okay I will use 11 year data to predict so I will select the 40 will be the middle middle year and before uh, 2040 I will uh, take 5 year and after 2040 I will take 5 year so what will be total 11 year so I will just how I will give that data here 2035 to 2045 okay is it clear so when it's done we can view here so when it's done now I'll simply go here I think it's clear and if you have any problem about that please comment me below I'll just uh, try to understand I will try to and uh, suppose that if you create a model file for one year data only okay for one year data only if you create uh, for one year data only suppose uh, from uh, 2000 uh, to, uh, no, I mean uh, suppose uh, 2000 I mean uh, first January of 2022 last December last day of December 2000 uh, I mean uh, suppose if you take one year here our first starting analysis starting date when we have created our model data first time then if we take one year only suppose from here if we take first uh, I mean our a start date if we take a start date like first January 2010 and uh, the last I mean last day of February of 2010 then we will get one year analysis period so if we consider for our object one year then here for 2014 how can we take that uh, uh, first January 2014 and uh, the last day of December 2014 so actually then world what will be we'll take only one year data but you know that the climatic change is not about one year or three year data it's uh, almost 10 to 20 years it is the uh, i mean phenomenon of 10 to 20 years data right or to, uh, 10 to 20 years gap period so we can uh, understand the climatic change after 10 year or 20 year or 30 years okay it's saying it takes huge time that's why I am uh, working with 11 years data because we have 11 year observed data that's why I am working with 11 years it's up to you actually how you uh, analyze that period so when it's done now simply click analyze when I'll click analyze just see here here uh, we have found a file and you can see that this is the main of January 
and here the maximum uh, everything is available we will uh, input that data in graph I mean in excel file and how and we will use graph then you will understand about that so when it is done okay when it is done now uh, that, that is for uh, 2040 for RCP 4.5 now I will use uh, for RCP 8.5 for every uh, 